Hi, I'm Fred Cummins and I'm the lecturer and module coordinator for COMP 47230, an introduction to cognitive science. This is a graduate level module taught in the first instance to cognitive science students, that is students pursuing the MSc cognitive science degree. But we have other students in the class as well, interested parties among other programs from the Computer Science by Negotiated Learning program, you're all most welcome. And if you're here out of interest or whether you're here because it's required, I hope you get a lot out of the course and participate in it. Before I move on to details about the course and how we're going to teach it, I'd better just say a few words about myself because we don't have the normal possibility of meeting face to face, at least not yet. So I'm from here, I'm from Dublin. Um, I did a degree in computer science and linguistics in German and Trinity and did a PhD in linguistics and cognitive science in America a long time ago. And I've worked here at UCD since 1999. Uh, the cognitive science program has been running since then as well. Um, and cognitive science is something of an odd field. It uh, doesn't belong, in obviously, in any one department. Some of you may be surprised to see it being run here in uh, computer science. We could just as well be in philosophy, but we could also be in psychology and in neuroscience. We have friends in linguistics and psychology. So there's an awful lot of uh, multidisciplinary contribution to the field. Um, my own work as a linguist has focused on the rather, perhaps, unfamiliar area of chanting. That is, people saying the same thing at the same time, as you get in temples and churches, but also protest marches and football stadia and primary schools and all around. Um, we'll meet a little bit of my work later on. OK, so that's my background, more or less. Um, the module that I have prepared here is covers an awful lot of territory. So it's very, very broad, and we don't have the luxury of going into the individual topics in great depth. It is intended to provide a broad introduction, uh, fully cognizant of the fact that any deep dive into a particular topic will require that one takes on board the framing assumptions of a particular discipline. It's not the case that all the disciplines contributing to cognitive science speak the same language. It's not a trivial matter to take the concerns of a neuropsychologist and discuss them coherently with a linguist, for example. So this cross-disciplinarity and interdisciplinarity belongs to cognitive science. That's part of our bread and butter. And my hope is that as we provide this broad foundational course, that you'll find a lot to think about that's relevant to your own understanding, to your own experience, um, and to you ha how you see yourself and other people. Um, if that is not challenged somewhat by this course, then we haven't done a good job. So much for grand promises. How are we going to do it? Now, we're stuck, of course, with the COVID situation. It is what it is. Um, we managed quite well in spring when we had to abruptly shift online. And this time around, we've got a lot more preparation. We are going to be adopting what is called a flipped classroom structure. What this means is that prior to every class, before every class, you as a class participant will watch and read specific material. I will provide you with a syllabus that will guide you and provide all the readings that you need. I have recorded all the videos for this in advance. And then we'll meet at class times in a group Zoom session. Um, we'll be feeling our way here a little bit. The goal of the group session is to discuss the material that you've already read and already watched. It's to answer any questions you have about it. It's to go further than that material and discuss what you bring to the table as well. It's to clear up misunderstandings. 
and is to ensure that you have a feeling of participating in a class and not merely taking an online course. Now, we will be improvising a little bit. We have yet to meet, and I don't know how people will find the flipped classroom, but there is plenty of room for minor adjustments, changes, if you find that the mode of delivery that we are going through is not sufficient. There is the possibility of adding additional schedules. Um, there's the possibility of one-on-one -on -one discussions at any time. I will have both fixed office hours and I'm available for one-to-one -one discussion. Just contact me by email. Um, there is the possibility that we might be able to meet face-to-face. -face. I would very much like that. We will not build that into our formal teaching structure, and nobody who is not on campus or unable to come to campus will be disadvantaged. But if we have the opportunity to meet up, perhaps outside, go for a walk together, just to s meet each other, we will do that if possible. Um, I will not be using Brightspace much. I will post on Brightspace links to the class Zoom sessions and you will use Brightspace for submitting the two essays that form part of the course material. And if there are announcements, they will be posted on Brightspace and also emailed to you. The website on which this video is hosted is going to be the principal source where you will find all the videos and all the reading materials that are required. Additional reading materials are provided that are optional as well in case you wish to pursue a specific topic in more depth. The topics we'll be covering are grouped loosely under the headings of the history of the discipline. There are many histories of cognitive science. Language, which is central to our understanding of mind and the human. Development and learning. Perception, a very, very big topic. Social cognition, in which we try to consider ourselves from something other than a purely individualistic point of view. Cognitive neuroscience, in which we will be looking at some brain science, but there will be much less brain science in this course than you might anticipate. For questions around brains are heavily contested, and we are here trying to provide the right kind of broad awareness with which you can later meet such work. And finally, we'll wrap up with a small section on movement science, human movement science. There's no textbook for the course because I've yet to find any that adopts such a broad interdisciplinary approach, but you will find all the readings that you need available through the website. Please take good note of the syllabus. It details exactly what to watch and read before each class. And if you find any difficulty accessing materials or understanding materials, please feel free to get in touch with me at any time. My email is fred.cummins at ucd.ie and I look forward to meeting you all.